November 30th. 406 B. C. Euripides, the Greek tragic poet, died at Barmiskus, in Macedonia. He wrote 92 tragedies which were greatly esteemed, but of which only 19 are extant. 69. Andrew, one of the apostles, suffered martyrdom at Patronacha Oya, upon the cross. He is the patron saint of Scotland. 1016. Edmund II Ironside, King of England, assassinated. 1093. Malcolm III, King of Scots, who was the son of the gracious Duncan immortalized by Shakespeare in Macbeth, was slain in his 70th year. 1292. John Balliol crowned King of Scotland at Scone, after swearing fealty to the King of England. 1603. William Gilbert, a learned English physician, died. He discovered some of the properties of the lodestone. 1654. John Selden died. An English antiquary, historian and law writer, of most extensive learning. 1672. The English East India Company lost the island of St. Helena. The Dutch taking it. 1700. Battle of Narva. The Russians under Peter the Great defeated by the Swedes under Charles the Twelfth. The forces of the two armies were unequal. That of the Russians differently stated from 80 to 100,000, while that of the Swedes varies from 8 to 20,000. Charles had a horse killed under him, and was struck in the neck, by a ball. 1718. Charles the Twelfth, King of Sweden, killed by a musket shot while attacking one of the forts in Frederikshall, Norway. 1733. In consequence of a vast exportation of grain from England, freights nearly doubled and the price of wheat rose in some places to four shillings per bushel. 1750. The nunneries of begging friars suppressed in Ireland by the Pope for vile and disorderly practices. 1750. Maurice of Saxe, Marshal of France, died. 1751. Nicholas Boyndon, a French dramatist, died. He left the pursuit of arms for that of literature, and became celebrated for his comedies. 1761. John Dolan died, an eminent English optician, and inventor of the achromatic telescope. 1781. Theodore Tronchin, an eminent physician of Geneva, died. He was the pupil of Bayer Hive, and the author of several medical works. 1782. Preliminary Articles of Peace Signed at Paris Between England and America. 1793. Treaty between the United States and the Creek Indians. 1793. Jean-Pierre Brissot guillotined. A very eminent Welch writer on philosophy, politics and legislation. 1793. William Lewis died in the act of drinking a cup of French ale, called a tumbler mar. He made it a rule to read a certain number of chapters in the Bible in the morning, and to drink eight gallons of ale in the evening. He weighed forty stone, and his bulk was enormous. A machine in the form of a crane was constructed to hoist him on the carriage, and to let him into his grave. He had drank beer enough in his day to float a seventy-four gun ship. 1801 Joseph Francis Maurice de Lassie, a Russian officer in the service of Austria, died. He gradually rose to a high rank by his talents displayed at several important battles. 1803. French port of Saint Domingo evacuated by capitulation. The French under Rolcambeau went as prisoners of war on board the British squadron, and the black. Prince de Salines took possession. Almost all the whites that remained were massacred. 
1811. British ship rover captured French corvette Le Comte Regin Aud, 14 guns, with a valuable cargo of sugar, coffee and spices. She had before belonged to the British Navy. 1812. Harriet Newell, an American missionary, died at the Isle of France. She was a woman of great excellence of character, who was the means of greatly exciting and extending the missionary spirit. 1813. The hereditary stadtholder of Holland arrived at The Hague from England to assume the sovereignty of the country. 1815. Fall of meteoric stones at the village of Chassigny, near Langers. 1828. John Bell, a distinguished citizen of New Hampshire, died. He was a leading member of the Senate during the Revolutionary War, and possessed great judgment, decision and integrity. 1830. The two landers in descending the Niger, reached the sea, completing the discovery of that river, having ascertained that the Benin, the Nun and the New, Calabar rivers, are all mouths of the great river Niger, with a direct communication with the Chud Lake. 1833. Guilem Lloyd Wardle, an English statesman, died at Florence. He obtained great notoriety for his successful motion in the British Parliament in 1809 for Inquiring into the conduct of the Duke of York as Commander-in-Chief. 1833. William MacLeod Bannatyne died, aged 90. A celebrated Scottish justice, one of the contributors to the Mirror and Lounger, and the last survivor of that. Phalanx of genius which shed a brilliant luster on the periodical literature of Scotland near the close of the 18th century. 1838. Battle of Tampico. The Mexicans under General Piedra defeated by the Federalists under General Urea, with the loss of 500. 1848. Major John Roberts died. He served in the Revolutionary War, and negotiated the exchange of prisoners obtained by the Convention of Saratoga, 1777. 1850. Sereno Edwards Dwight, a noted New England preacher, died, aged 65. He published A Life of Edwards, whose works he edited. 1853. Anson G. Phelps, a prominent, wealthy and benevolent merchant, died in New York, aged 74. 1853. Battle at Sinope. The Turkish squadron, consisting of three frigates, two steamers and some transports, was destroyed by the Russians. Five thousand Turks were killed, and Osman Pasha was taken prisoner. 1856. Henderson Yolkham, the historian of Texas, died at Houston, aged 46. He possessed a high order of legal attainments. Mm -hmm.